okay we are first uh, demon so i have already done that let me check it so normally it should be uh, ssh uh, uh, ss okay let's consider uh, the http process is running on this uh, port this particular port 80 okay so and let's move on now. um if i say uh, get enforce Uh, okay, let me set it up to yeah. It's just a um, SC Linux. Okay, uh, situs on my environment, and also SSH system CTL. Sessions. Mm, yeah, it's running. Okay, so we can move on. I already installed the SSH. Uh, the HTTP process of the service is enabled. Let me uh, move on. Here should be should be all be done. Yeah. Okay, so. Now we can check the, the content of the. Here we have a, an appearance of my actual configuration file of HTTPD, so you can take it from your side also. Or you can view the folders. Okay, my current folder. Yeah. Uh, yes, before we move, uh, let me go in this folder, the www uh, HTML, that's a bit way about something. Yeah. At the moment, there is nothing inside this folder. Okay. df minus h. Yeah, and uh, this is VLK. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead. Next step is to download the ISO that I use. I will uh, uh, store on my uh, platform, my PXE uh, platform. Okay, so I have to download it. So, um, I will use uh, one disk. I will use, uh, for instance, this disk, uh, for instance, VDC. Okay, where I will do majority of my work. Yeah. Step. Um, let's create a new folder. Now I will download the, the ISO within this folder. Okay, and the uh, next step, you can check out the contents if you want. Okay, just be sure that uh, the ISO is there. 9 gig, okay. Okay, so let me uh, create a new uh, folder where I will intend this one is for where I will mount the ISO, and uh, this folder is where I will copy the content of the mounted uh, folder. Okay? okay, so I will mount this ISO within this folder. Okay, and with uh, the, the folder mounted, okay, I will copy this con the content which we reserve uh, to this new folder. Okay. This is the purpose of what I'm going to do. So let's mount it. Mm. 
down let's copy the content the whole content Okay, done. Now let's uh, copy this uh, remaining file. Sometimes it doesn't be copied. Okay, so um, let's move on. We will create now this a, sub a new symbolic link from this uh, part, uh, uh, which will be target this uh, mounted or this uh, uh, installation content okay so let's create uh, this new link symbol link if you remember the if you remember the start folder when we the guys or uh, the, the server we come and try to retrieve the I saw a source installation. You will, you will get this folder, okay. and uh, this folder, this folder. Okay, when we try to see this folder, really it will it will be. Actually, it will be uh, this folder where we go to take over the different content that you need to finish to continue the installation. Okay, so we can check over at the moment the right the content of the folder right now. I was going to see a symbolic, a symbol, symbolic link between uh, this uh, uh, this one and uh, this real folder. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we can, uh, if you not already done, from our case it is the case uh, because uh, the service is already start. Let me, but let me check it. You can check it, but it is already done. Uh, let's move on. Okay, and uh, let's create uh, the kickstart file. Okay, kickstart file is this one. I will create it with this content for my site. And this password from my side is just so uh, it has been encrypted, but it's the root. It's the root. Root at root. Yeah. Okay, so it is the password that has been encrypted here right now. So let's move on. I can see this content and uh, yeah. Okay. But for my site, I will use another IP address for the for my uh, server. Okay, I will use a one four. Okay, two four. It will be the IP address I will configure for my site. Okay, so this is it. And uh, when I say for my site, uh, at the moment, let me show you. Here is uh, I have two um, network interface, this one and this one. Okay, I will configure this IP address that I already uh, what I have just uh, specified this IP address. Okay, this IP address will be configured on this uh, node. Okay, I will configure on this interface. Uh, in a moment, I will do it. So let's move on. I to be able to configure the IP address. Here you can see the enemy with command to configure the IP address right now. But first of all, let me check out the, the status of the connection. Okay. Here you can see real connection, but uh, it is uh, connection one. Okay, and we will have real connection two. I have to be sure that this connection is linked to this. Uh, in the procedure, you can see that. Uh, we have to rename just uh, because the reconnection is not something that is very interesting. Okay, we have to be, we have to we want to rename this connection to be much more fun. Okay, okay. 
actually for instance so if i say uh, show reconnection uh, for instance okay actually it is linked to the first interface okay it will link to a first interface and uh, this first interface this first interface have this IP address so if I run this command this command I have I, I use this procedure my IP address will be changed this is not the purpose that I want to do okay you want to, uh, to have, update the IP address on the second interface this one okay so I, when I see this when I show this one see we connection let me see to which interface of this which wired connection is linked to yeah it is linked to this one okay so from my side I will use this one okay so this means that I have just to adapt comment the comment I will just to have the, the, the comment Let's see which connection to but I will just to have to update. Okay, so now let's show it again. So now the this wave connection, this one is linked to this one. Okay, from your side, it, it will be slightly different. But anyway, uh, let's uh, continue. Now I will have to set an IP address. Mm -mm -mm. One two four, and over uh, yeah slash yeah I'm good. Let's move on and uh, connection up. Uh, IP address. Let me check it. So now I have the IP address of set up to the second interface, and uh, this one remain review his is uh, IP address. Okay. So we can. Uh, yeah, regarding the firewall, I can uh, and uh, reload. Okay. And uh, watching else for uh, oh, Linux, let me try to see if I can. I will be able to uh, download some, uh, any file from my. Uh, from this particular folder. Yeah, permission denies. So just to do to the okay, so now let's check out the see of it. Okay, as you can see we have some alert comes from the uh, SL Linux at the moment, just due to this uh, particular folder. Okay, so this folder don't have uh, all label uh, we can't test the sc context that we need uh, at the moment okay so let me show you for for instance this the uh, actually the uh, actual problem at the moment okay let's see the the no label okay at the moment for all those contents Okay, let me show you. I see that to allow this one, let me execute this one first. Okay. So let's move on. Now let's mm. 
Okay, so now we good label has been applied to my uh, uh, to let me turn straight to curl. Yeah, as you can see, now once we curl is okay. Let's move on. Let's continue. Uh, I'll configure now the TFTP server. It. Uh, for the firewall part, I will have to activate it. Uh, no, yeah. Okay. Maybe there is some issue with card. Uh, let's see what not. Okay, maybe there is some card. Uh, okay, so let's move on. Okay. Okay, after I've done that. Let me restart the service and uh, also the right of goes it to be uh, an FTP uh, server, so I have to add the right of nobody, nobody into to the remote also to be able to retrieve data from this folder. Now let's go to the GCP of the particularly this for this GCP content I will uh, first update the content. So this update will be this content will have like that. Uh, the network where I'm supposed to be this one over. Yeah. Mm. Next server, the same server, which will be DNS and NTP and something like that. Okay. And uh, for this MAC address, okay. It will be this one, as you can see, the MAC address of the server that you can see uh, here. Okay. I have to update my content. Let me just update it to replace this content to this one. Okay, let me see. Okay, I want to give IP address for instance 10 if I want. It's up to me. And now, I'm ready. I can copy and paste. Uh, copy and paste of this content. Let me prefer the, the, the last check. Uh, 
but before we update this file, we just have to save it. Let's check. Is okay. Okay for me. Now let's uh, continue with the FTP configuration. I have to slice the uh, hands of a uh, screen now. Okay, so if you, if you copy all the menu to the right the destination, uh, you will copy now the menu, except I need. So let me start up the SL Linux FTP package. After I've done that, uh, I will uh, which one I will uh, okay, let's now create a this file. Okay, so let me uh, update it rapidly with over this one. Yeah. Close. Uh, I have to move on and I'll replace the content with this one. Okay, and uh, 
yeah this one should be replaced and four and this one also the last but not least okay once everything is done let me copy Let's check how the road. Yeah. So now we can move on. We can move on, and uh, everything is right now. Okay. Okay. If I want to debug the deployment, it is very simple. I can. Uh, uh, I might install. I might have a uh, TCP dump. Come in. Okay. Okay, so let now stop and start over our client and see what will happen. So like, uh, okay, I will I will now plug my machine to the network and uh, start it. Let's wait. As you can see, you can see the dialogue between, between the, the different nodes. Yeah, you see. So, by slowly, the deployment will be done automatically. And one now, continue the installation uh, automatically. Okay, as you can see, the, the second. Without do anything, the deployment will be uh, uh, go normally with uh, no issue. So I just have the only thing I have to do is just to wait. Okay. If I have in rush or in hurry, I can uh, say I can uh, press uh, the enter uh, command. But right now I don't need to do what uh, do to do this thing. Okay. I just want to wait uh, the process uh, uh, going on normally and automatically. 